gonna go ahead and use our 19 millimeter socket and remove these lug nuts. Once the lug nuts are removed, go ahead and remove the wheel, set it aside. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this sway bar end link. We're gonna use a 13 millimeter socket to loosen this bolt. Now the top here is spinning, so we're gonna grab a pair of pliers and hold on to the top of that. Take off the upper portion. I'm gonna pull out our bolt, and we have our spacer inside here. Go ahead and work this out. It's gonna be a couple stages of these, this installation here. You have a washer and a rubber bushing with the cone part facing upward. So washer, bushing, feed this up. Now you want to install another rubber bushing, but with the cone part facing down. You're going to top that off with a washer with the dish facing down. So it sandwiches that. Feed that up a little bit. So we have a pry bar between the control arm and the sway bar. And do this here, push this up till the bolt just starts coming through. Now we have to lift up on the pry bar so you can get that washer and bushing in there. Get that bolt up and in. At that point you can release the sway bar. You're going to take your next bushing with the cone facing downward, put that on the top of the stud. Then we want to put the washer cone down on the top and we're going to try and get our nut started. I'm going to go ahead and get that nut started on the top. I'm going to go ahead and tighten this down. Now when tightening these sway bars here, rule of thumb is you want to compress the rubber bushing enough just so it's the same diameter as the washer up above. And there we have it. Now we're able to get our nut installed in the current position we had. For any reason, if you don't have enough threads where when you put the washer on, you can't get the nut started, you can go ahead and lower the vehicle down a little bit, put a jack under the control arm and raise up the suspension. That might give you more threads to get access to. Go ahead and get that nut started and then tighten it down like we did. Let's go ahead and install our wheel. Get our lug nuts started here. Now that we have our lug nuts installed, let's go ahead and snug them all down. Let's go ahead and torque the wheels down to 103 foot-pounds.